I still don't understand why I have to waste my whole weekend studying about this stupid stuff. Why does it matter to me what happened a bazillion years ago? I just want to go watch TV. Wait, what? Who are you? What are you doing in my room? My name is Annie Marmy. That book you're reading, I wrote that when I was an adult. I see that you aren't interested in it, but you should be, so I'm going to show you why. But are you real? Why are you talking to me? I'm going to tell you what really happened. Well, I, I don't have time for that. I have better things to do in 2013. If you don't make time now, you never will. Come with me and you will understand. Wait, where are we? Who are these people? This was my house as a child, and that is my family. We were a happy family, as you can see, but the war changed that. Just a few months before a real battle had come to this town, we spent many sleepless nights in the cellar, while my father, as the only doctor in the town, was called to assist citizens caught within the crossfire. Everything we believed in, everything we loved, was threatened. Are you Dr. Nicholas Marmion? Yes, yes I am. We have been sent from the office of the Provost Marshal to take you into custody. You are suspected of being in sympathy with the enemy. Wait, what's happening? That is my father. He is being arrested. That is the night that everything changed. I don't see why you guys think that I need to pledge my allegiance every month. I swear it when I entered this nation. I therefore don't have to prove it again. Why is that a big deal? I have to pledge mine every day. Well, I am talking about something different. If my father was not to pledge his allegiance, he would be considered a traitor. And because he didn't sign, they tried to separate father from our family. The other families in town, such as the Stipes, also had to make this decision. I think I've heard those names before, but who were they? Miss Stipes is the landlady of the local boarding house. When my father defied the army, she took care of many of the soldiers who were posted here, doing their laundry and such. Dr. Marmion's been arrested! What? He can't be arrested. He's the only doctor in this town. I must go and speak on his behalf. Hopefully, the provost marshal will hear me out, since I am currently on good terms with him. Girls, stay here and mind the house while I'm out. This is all so terrible, but why should we care if this happened so long ago? Let me show you. This is so boring. Why couldn't we have gotten to King's Dominion? Why are we here anyway? This place is so lame. I mean, what's the importance of this place anyway? Wait, these people look really familiar. They should. They're the descendants of the Stipes family you just saw 150 years ago. But hold on. Hold on. You're saying the descendants of these people don't even care about their history? So if they don't care, why should I? I knew you would ask that question, which is why I have one more place to show you. That's right, folks. Once we knock down this old building in this garage looking thing. You mean John Brown's fort? John Brown, Jim Brown, whatever. Once this place is all knocked down, we can finally build that all in one housing development and shopping center. I mean, this is the most absolutely horrible place I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, nobody's been here for like 20 years or more. I mean, it stinks here. We should just get rid of it. Just get rid of it. Just get rid of it. Once this place is all knocked down, we can finally build our all in one housing development. What? No. I'm not like that. This isn't real. Why would I... Annie, why would you show me all of this? No. That's not like me. No. No, I didn't do that. No. No. Was that a dream? It's difficult for us to understand the lives and experiences of people living back in Harpers Ferry in 1863. But I now realize that if we do not understand the history of the time, we will lose our town, our community, and our history forever.